Happy birthday, Capricorn, and happy new year. Oh my God, it's 2022 and you are kicking it off. My name is Morgane. This is the Existential Shift. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're not new, welcome anyway. I love you all. Okay, Seekers, what does January 2022 has in store for Cappy Seekers? Mm. The Chariot, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the Emperor. On one hand, such a decisive, forward-moving, no-fucks-given energy. Camouflaging, Four of Pentacles and Eight of Swords, a lot of fear. A lot of hesitancy. You want to move forward, but what if what's ahead isn't better than what's right here? What if you lose what you have worked for, even though it feels like shit? This is not a fun feeling for a Pentacles Eight of Swords. It kind of sucks. The chariot and the emperor here, it's inevitable because this is who you are, Capricorn. You're a cardinal earth sign. You build new things. When things collapse, you build anew and you move ahead and you construct and you lead. You lead others, then of course you can lead yourself. And that's what you want to do. You want to just continue on that essence. But you are really, really, really held back, Capricorn, and it's, it's your, your own self that is holding you back because you're worried. What if I lose what I have? Of course you will when you move forward and you progress and you risk and you build. The past phases out. You can't have it both ways, not in this case. You gotta make a strong decision and move forward with it. And it requires courage of you. And it surprises you because normally you're, you're very courageous. You know what you want. Usually it's very clear to you how to build towards that direction or build a thing that you want to build. You know how to sketch the roadmap, right? Maybe whatever it is that you have right now that you're scared of letting go of or losing is something that you've worked very hard for in the past, that you've gone through a journey with. The chariot, right? And you've come this far. What, give it up now? Well, life comes in episodics and cycles, chapters. Moving to the next chapter doesn't mean the old chapter wasn't important or wasn't valid or wasn't good. It was the stepping stones, the building blocks for the next step which will be the stepping stone and the building blocks for the next and for the next and so on. I feel like I'm tapping into Capricorns that find it really hard to accept change. Even though it seems to be that you're in a position where you're the one who needs to lead that change and reach a resolution within yourself about this. One more for Capricorn, please. Show me more for Capricorn. Ah, oh, the Sun and Ten of Cups. So this is love. This is fulfillment in your love life. 
in your partnership. It's very bright, it's very sunny. There's a sense of uh, surface level happiness, fulfillment, loyalty, joy, connection, and so on, with an undertone of fear, control, mistrust, and doubt. Three of Pentacles. There's a need to go back to the foundations of this thing and work on the detail of this structure but many of you seem to be building something very beautiful that is going to last for a very long time it's cooperative it's loving strength it's something worth fighting for. The heart knows what it wants. But again, it keeps coming through. Someone feels like they have to restrain their own inner beast. King of Swords and be in control and do the right thing. And this is someone that suppresses their own desire their own self, their own nature, with a sense of critical judgment. Gotta do what's right, gotta do what's right. What is what's right? What is the definition of what's right? Is the definition of what is right the societal expectations and doing things for others? Or what is seemingly surface level the right thing to do? Or is the definition of what's right following your instincts in your heart because that's the only truth that exists because there is no such thing as objective truth there is only subjective truth so if we go by objective truth we inevitably lie but if we go by subjective truth even if seemingly societally because we're still quite ignorant uh, it looks like we're lying we're actually very very sincere and set ourselves on our true path that in the long run will lead us to our destination whether we understand understand it now or not. Here's the truth. The Hermit and the Moon card. This is the truth right now of your situation. When this came out, I was like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. It's like, I'm, I'm blinded with how beautiful this is. I mean, look how bright and gorgeous it is. And it is. And there's, it's not that it's always too good to be true. No, sometimes things are beautiful. But everything else that came in the reading, like the interaction with other cards, the energy, it felt plastic. It felt plastic. It felt like one of those things that you know, beautiful furniture that breaks after a month or after a year because it's not built right and the material that are building it, that it's made of, aren't really interacting well. So first they, first it's okay, it's, this is being put here, it's like the seemingly the, piece of, the pieces of the puzzle match, but sooner than later the contradicting materials the alchemy between them starts to melt it down to its core and then we get all confused hermit and the moon it's like wait what is this how did we go from the brady bunch to twilight zone where are we what is this Suddenly, all the other avenues and possibilities
somehow you're able to see see them clearly. It's interesting because the sun is, this, is, is supposed to be the energy of clarity, right? But it was so bright that it, it couldn't, you know, like when you look straight at the sun and then everything else becomes a blur? As opposed to when you allow yourself to look at the fog and then everything else becomes sharp and focused and clear. You're going from surface level clarity, plasticky that will disperse, to real clarity, to deep soul level psychic clarity, where you're not telling yourself stories anymore. A lot of you have been living the story. The story you told yourself you ought to be living. But you've been using ink to write on paper that seemed clean and white as if you're writing your own story and then living it. But it was actually like a, you know, like a wallpaper glued upon layers and layers and layers of deeper stories that are yours. And so at first the ink looks clear, but then the under layers start to soak it like a sponge and it becomes, you know, like, like, like skid marks. And the story that was so obvious for you and you were able to read it and there was, there were specific definitions and it was so clear, suddenly it's like, and oddly enough, you are wiser than you've ever been. and sharper than you've ever been. As you begin to experience solitude and confusion within something or some things that were supposed to be the it thing, at first it will be a little bit of a, oh, my, oh no, I'm losing myself. And then, but so quickly, it will turn into, I am finding myself. In that crossroad in which you're sitting, realizing how many other directions are there as the path you thought you were on starts to phase out and, dis and disappear. Seemingly a very confusing situation for a Capricorn, but I see you finally breathing with acceptance, with serene surrendering. Life is bigger than me. Things I was absolutely certain of, the knowing I was absolutely certain I had, I'm now learning how much more there is for me to learn. That's you, Cappy, in January, and that's exciting. Don't be scared. It's a journey. You're going on a journey of self-discovery. It might lead you in a completely different direction than you initially thought, let's say you're having New Year's resolutions now, January is going to be like, hmm, and that's okay. Still do your New Year's resolutions in ways of like having something to compare to once realizations happen. Five of Cups. There is a departure. The 
you are departing or they are departing. I think it's definitely Cupid here. Cupid slash um Did I just forget the name of the god of the sun? Okay, you know who I'm talking about. But this shiny diamond, there's a departure. It could be you, Capricorn, or definitely a shiny diamond. It could be someone you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be romance, although it looks like it, but it could be anything, really. Anything that you had a sense of false clarity. In regards to the energy Venus retrograding in your sign, oh, yeah, right, until the 29th of January. Venus is just being more and more intense, and what Venus represents is being more intense in your life, move slower and closer to us to Earth, right? When Venus is retrograding, it's more intense. So for you, it's like maybe you've suppressed your needs, your true needs and your true wants for the sake of the story. Maybe you're realizing, Venus Retrograde is helping you realizing what is your value, your worth. From the heart from the gut what is it that you truly want what is it that you truly expect and thus need to stand up for as opposed to constantly trying to protect the story right keeping the paper wrap all perfect and shiny and ignoring the content of the actual gift Do they truly know you? Do you truly know them? What attracted you in the first place? Was it the outer layers or was it your cores? It wasn't a lie. You knew yourself to be your own outer layer. You've either dismissed or didn't acknowledge or thought you can suppress or deny your core layers of aspects of yourself. I don't need to feed my heart. I can feed my mind and feed my body and feed my perception. But you can't ignore the agonizing feeling that something is missing that something doesn't sit right and i saw this hermit moon five of cups as soon as the sun and the ten of cups came out seemingly there's no reason for me to see them because those are such amazing cards but i'm like this is so i can't see like the first thing i thought i was like wow i can't see because it was so bright and intuitively, I was like, okay, okay, there's something false here. But Venus in retrograde, it's almost like um, bringing forth the energy of Hecate or Persephone, right? The most powerful aspect of the divine feminine from the underworld, the womb, the empty space that holds all matter. That's where the truth is. So it's not scary, Capricorn. It's actually exciting. This will allow you to tap into your magic. Your power. Because we can tap into our magic and into our power or to our psychic abilities and all that jazz when, you're, when we're not in tune with ourselves. When, you, when we suppress aspects of ourselves. Oh, 
show me a bit more, please, for Kathy. The devil. The truth just comes out in its full glory. Who you are, who they are. A glorious presentation of the true self. It might not look pretty, but it's the most beautiful drama, beautiful ugliness you've ever been a part of because it will blow shit up and tell you what's what. The star. The only way to reach, right, when Pandora opened the Pandora box first, all the demons and the fears of the world came out, and then hope from the bottom of, the, of Pandora's box came through. Okay? So your hopes, your wishes, your true love can only come through after you let all the gunk out. After you open up and tell yourself your own secrets and tell them your secrets. Maybe you haven't been honest with what it is that you want. Maybe, maybe you wanted to make them happy. Maybe you wanted it to work out at the expense of who you are. And maybe it's the other way around, Capricorn. Maybe someone did that with you. They just wanted to make you happy and they weren't honest with you about what it is they want. It's not, neither of you was trying to be deceiving, but you were deceiving. And then self-judgment upon self-judgment kept imposing itself on you because your heart is what it is. You are who you are. And it kept bubbling up. So you kept judging yourself for it. There is no room for judgment. If you perceive something legitimate as bad, then you judge. But if you stop perceiving something legitimate as bad, then there's no need for judgment, right? There's a lot happening behind the scenes, Capricorn. And you can't blame others for dancing behind the scenes. Because you are doing that too. If it's between you and your person, you're mirroring one another. You're lying to yourself, so you're lying to them. They're lying to themselves, so they're lying to you. It's a party of lies. All with good intentions. Both of you really want to do what's right, and you end up doing everything that is wrong. You gotta honor yourself, Capricorn. And you can't change them. You're not supposed to. You and this person, this friend, this family member, this job, this home, it, apply it wherever it applies. If it's true, it works. If it's not true, it doesn't work. If it keeps being itchy, even though it's supposed to be great, it's not great, it's itchy, right? The fabric looks amazing, but it itches all over your skin. Doesn't matter how much you wanna wear it, you can't, it just, it, it, it's hurting you. And I say it a lot, I will say it again. It's not always a matter of wrong versus right. Who's the good person, who's the bad person? Sometimes it's just a matter of mix and match. And it doesn't mean there weren't any match. It doesn't mean that that apartment wasn't perfect for you. It didn't give you everything you wanted. And now life is changing, you are changing next. Same applies to anything. Your wardrobe, your person, Again, anything, Capricorn, you tend to do that in your life. You tend to tell yourself how things should be, how things should look like, and then you go and pursue it and you, you bulldoze yourself. You're, you become a bully to yourself.
and you don't want to waste time, but you end up wasting a lot of time because things that shouldn't be growing will crumble. Nature knows what it is. You can't fight it. So a lot of Capricorns from the desire to not waste time end up wasting the most time because they force things that, you know, okay, they work on it, they work on it, they invest in it, and they put all their energy and all their power and all their intentions and all the hard work and they make it work and they make it work and they make it work. But here's the thing, you make it work. It doesn't just work. Now, nothing just works. Everything requires, you know, participation, but it has to be fluid for you to be joyous. And you're gonna tell me, oh, well, oh, Morgan, I don't need to be joyous. Well, what are you doing here in this channel? That's nonsense, I don't believe you. And there is hope and there is truth and there is acknowledgement. And there is a sense of liberation towards the end of the month. where you can see the actual light. Not the kind of light you have to wear, sunglasses and a cap, it's too much. Or it's just painful. Calm, warm light of truth of who and what you are and what you want. Some of you are developing an obsession with someone that is not good for you, that keeps leaving you, that keeps... Nine of Wand. That keeps keeping you waiting. They're going to continue to keep you waiting, Capricorn, because they have doubts. If this is your story, if someone is constantly keeping you waiting, they're going to keep you waiting. Until you hang up. You don't want to be on hold? Hang up. You want to be on hold? Stay, stay, stay this way. Just, just stay on hold. It's, it's fun. The fool. There is no price for freedom. That's what the fool speaks of. Love is freedom. Accomplishment and fulfillment in your work is freedom. Feeling loved and accepted by your family is freedom. If it's not what you feel, it's not what you're experiencing, it's not free. And the fool tells you there is no price tag on your freedom. Some of you feel like they need to breathe, like the pressure sits on your chest, the confusion, the question marks, the what ifs. If I'll just do this, if I'll just do that, if I'll just say this, then they'll understand or then they will change or then this boss will get it or then they will appreciate me or then my family would love me or then the, no. What people have shown you until now, this is how it is. If it's good for you, great. If it's not good for you, be aware. Okay? Also, expecting someone to change, it's not fair. It's not fair. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that, um, sorry. I have a tiara, by the way, it's for your birthday. It's made of a uh, tiger eye. Sorry, I'm not gonna sit here, beautiful Capricorn. Happy birthday, you guys know how much I love you. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you are right and they are wrong. Thus, they need to change and align. No, you're right in knowing what it is that you want. That's okay. That part is that part is okay. 
What's not okay is trying to puppeteer, puppeteer someone into fitting that position. You're not going to get what you want. Because they're also now waking up to who they are and what they want. It's not just your process. It's everybody's process. Not the reading, but the aspect of coming to terms with ourselves. They're coming to terms with themselves. And that's okay. There's a tendency, even in the spiritual realm, in the tarot realm, divination of, you know, placing us against the other. You versus them. Right versus wrong. Sometimes life is just, you know, pieces of a puzzle. Every piece of a puzzle portrays a beautiful, valid image that sometimes fit and sometimes doesn't. If you try to force two pieces of a puzzle that, to fit when they don't, then the entire image becomes corrupt. Okay? Enlightenment of the human consciousness can only be achieved when there's a full acceptance of the self with love and with flow. That way, everything just lines up into place. I'm going to continue pulling cards and creating extended for you guys. It's available on Patreon. Great time to join Patreon for 2022. Thank you to my existing patrons. I love you dearly. And to my channel members, thank you so, so, so very much for your support. Check out Tarot Masterclass Bunka if you want to study tarot for me while undergoing a shamanic journey with me. Uh, check, out, check out Karmic Shift and Liberation. It's very important for this decade. Check out the special North and South Node um, project that I've done for everyone um that's it thank you thank you for tuning in to the existential shift i'll see you in a second